Most people know you can't walk around showing your privates outside, but there's something about being behind a screen that makes too many people think it's okay. The yeah, problem is so common now that it got the attention of state lawmakers who just recently made sending unwanted naked photos a crime. And as KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen found out today, it raises some interesting constitutional issues. Half of young women have received an unwanted sexual picture, according to recent studies. That's something Alex Williamson pointed out to me Thursday. She's the chief brand officer at the Austin-based dating app Bumble. Just like indecent exposure is, is considered a crime in real life, you know, it's something yeah. that, of course, it's almost a no-brainer, and it's, it's almost confusing that this hasn't already been done. She supported House Bill 2789, which makes sending an unwanted nude a Class C misdemeanor, up to a $500 fine. Not only does she want their app users to feel safe, but she says it's high time for digital guidelines. By being a part of this, we will help invite other companies into this conversation, um, and other companies will take a stance and, and help make, make online safer. However, the noble intent of the law might not always translate to punishment. Defense attorney Sam Bassett says a fine might not do the trick. Usually people in this circumstance who are engaging in sexual behavior or sexually deviant behavior, mm -hmm. not, they don't normally stop and think, well, is this a class C misdemeanor? Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Uh, it's usually a little more impulse driven and more emotion driven. He also says the language could be too vague constitutionally, like the part about sending photos of covered private parts in a turgid state. That language could mean a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And what we know about criminal law is you have to be specific enough mm -hmm. uh, to put somebody on notice. All questions now that the state takes a step to make actions online against the law. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The bill passed overwhelmingly in both chambers. Now the governor has to decide whether to veto the legislation or not. This law would be enforced by city and county prosecutors, not the district attorney who prosecutes felonies. Texas lawmakers also passed a fix to a 2015 revenge porn law that courts found unconstitutional. That's when you post a naked photograph of someone else online. House Bill 98 spells out when it's a crime, when the material was released with the intent to harm the depicted person. If the defendant knew or had reason to believe that depicted person had a reasonable expectation, the material would remain private. The disclosure caused harm to the person in the photograph and revealed his or her identity. 